Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Davey Scale! Guys, no, he's looking at me. He's like this. <laughs> he's looking at me like this. He's folding his arm. He don't know what to do. Why is he looking at me? Why is, why is the homeless man screaming? <laughs> what do I? I'm ready to rock, mate? They told me it was a comedy show. I'm not. I wasn't to know. <laughs> I, mate, I swear to God, what? I'm completely unprepared, mate. I don't. <laughs> You're all right, mate. You're all right. Man, I'm fucking stoked to be here. It's so fucking good. You guys are beautiful. Coming to grab a seat. Excuse me, coming through. Sorry about that. Sorry, just getting some drinks. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, now I'm back now. Oh, I'll just climb over the seat. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm all right. No, here we go. And you're right to go. <laughs> and action. <laughs> all right. It's really hard to do rock kicks and play the guitar at the same time, but I just want you to... <laughs> you didn't see that one, did you? Didn't see that one coming? That was a fucking reverse double kick right there. Did you see that? Check this out, watch this. I don't even look where I'm going when I do it. Reverse double kick, man. Or as they say in Japan, Ribasu double kick. That is a Oru wa Nihonjin da yo. Oru wa Nihongo shaburimasu yo. Nihonjin imasu ka? Nihonjin imasu ka? Irai ka? Boeira! Yora piku! That's right. I play guitar and I speak Asian. I got all the skills, man. Fuck yeah. I don't just do rock moves, man. I do also, I do rock looks. Check this shit out. This first look I like to call, what the fuck was that? <laughs> this one's called, what the fuck was that? Oh, that's all right, that's what it was. <laughs> Man, it's so good to be back here. I've been on tour so much, I've been touring around. I've been touring around, I've been fucking just touring, mate. I, mean, I live on the road, man. I live on the road. Paramount Road, actually, I live on Paramount <laughs> near the Maccas. No, it's true, man. I've been touring around, been in Edinburgh. I've been in uh, LA, New York, whatever. I've been in Harvey Bay. That was after the tour, that was a bit, do you know what I mean? It's a bit hard coming back to Queensland. So I'm a Queenslander, going back to Queensland, my first gig back. Off tour was at uh, the Harvey Bay RSL. Yeah, there's nothing like going back to Queensland to the cold, hard stares <laughs> of Queensland audience. <laughs> just fucking just.
What's all this about? <laughs> Who the fuck are you, mate? <laughs> well, I, haven't, I haven't seen you on the footy show. <laughs> But uh, that's pretty much what I do these days. I just tour around. Just tearing, always tearing. Fucking on tour. People say, what have you been doing? On tour, mate. <laughs> on a Contiki tour. But anyway, it's good to be back. <laughs> this song has the longest intro of all my songs. <laughs> that's why I talk over the top of it, so. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be a pretty shit intro. It'd just be this. <laughs> For 62 bars. <laughs> this is a song about a night in my life. Just wait for it. In the city tonight Just did a gig in the city tonight Yeah At midnight In the city Tonight Alright After the show All the groupies wanna know Where I'm gonna go After the show I say to the bar Follow my ego But my ego's out of control Cause he does a lot of blow <laughs> Now we're totally passionate Just fully macking out this is what I imagine love was supposed to be all about with heaps of bitches. But at 3 a.m., my hope turns to despair as the lights come on, exposing the grim nightmare. Two minutes till ugly lights. Spending all that cash on cocksucking cowboys, but it turns out she's actually a cocksucking cowboy, too. Minutes till ugly lights. Dancing with a Playboy Center fold. Now we're making out with Susan Boyle. All right. I dreamed a dream. It was a Susan Boyle nightmare. Making my escape in the city tonight. Around the break of dawn. So technically not tonight in the city tonight. <laughs> I'm all alone, safe in my home. I smoked an apple bong and now I'm stoned. Uh, an apple bong is where you make a bong out of an apple. It's not like, it's like a, you just get an apple, you just pop a hole in the top and then another hole in the side and you just sprinkle on the top and like, you just what? But like, obviously like, you gotta take the stem out first before you make the hole. Like, you, and which is why you should use Granny Smith apples because like more often than not like a Granny Smith has a weaker stem than most other apples like because you got your um, Fuji, your Royal Gala, Red, Deli Red Delicious got the thickest stem of them all. Anyway, look, do your own research but <laughs> just saying like just pop, pop a hot and then just and anyway like yeah so look. It's actually why um, apples were illegal uh, in the Garden of Eden. Um, so, anyway, it's true. It's, well, it's not true, but um, it's a made-up story that they made up in the Bronze Age. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a fable. But, um, anyway, uh, apple a day. And... Uh, Back to the song. When the munchies attack and I need a bite, I'm reading the fuck out of what's left in the pantry tonight. All right, try apricots and a bag of rice, but the chicken maggi noodles are my treasured prize. Yeah, yeah. two minutes till two minute noodles. Up a pretty 
shitty night with, let's face it, pretty fucking shitty food. All right, took a bite too soon when it was too hot. Now I've got blisters on the inside of my mouth. I got third degree burns in my esophagus because these magic noodles are hotter than hell. Not that I would know how hot hell actually was. And besides, I don't really believe in hell. It's a personal choice. It's fine if you do. I just believe that the concept of hell is too illicit fear. For the purpose of control, religion is power, and power corrupts. So I don't believe in hell. In the Judeo-Muslim Christian sense. In the Judeo-Muslim Christian sense. Two minutes till I call Susan Boyle. It's either that or watch some red tube, but I've only got a 3G dongle thing for my internet. Two minutes till I am gonna spew my guts off. Ever since the apple, everything's been spinning, and the noodles wanna come back up. All right, stand back. I'm gonna vomit like a hydrant. Just shot a noodle straight out of my nose. I don't remember having carrots. I really don't remember having <laughs> fucking care her hurts. Fire! Yeah! Sorry. No, don't clap. No, they're far. Fuck it up. Don't clap. No, because the song's not finished. No, no, do this. No, seriously, I'll do that for about 10 minutes. We're not going to have time, so I need to clear that. Oh, fuck it. Just... <laughs> you never know when you need to pass someone. It's good to practice. Is that the smell of romance? Or maybe just the bit of jizz I did in my pants? <laughs> when I spew I usually have enough time after that song to have a bit of a drink. <laughs> if I haven't kicked it all over already, but... <laughs> but uh, yeah, and I have enough time to have a bit, a bit of a drink while the crowd's just like... <sighs> no, 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 no. No, heavy breathing. Just, oh, yeah. Oh, what's in the tides? Oh, yeah. Oh, get it out, get it out. Not tonight, it doesn't happen every night, that's all. <laughs> How good's that song? Fuck it, yeah! Yeah, fuck yeah, the intro was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah, sometimes I cheese in my pants when I spew, pew, 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 That's the hook of the song. That's the hook of the, you, you wouldn't understand what a hook is because you don't work in the music business, but. <laughs> A hook is where, like songwriters and other artists, uh, we, we, what we do is we like to put a hook into a song at the start of the song or the middle of the song to hook you in to the song. To hook you in. <laughs> right? With my song, 
You go through about 12 minutes of shit <laughs> and you get the hook at the end. <laughs> Sometimes I'm chasing my pants, we're in the speed, pow, pow, pow. Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. That's the bit, you'll be singing at work on Monday. <laughs> you got an hour show, that's the bit you'll remember. He'll be at the water cooler on Monday. Fucking, I don't know, you'll be at the... I don't know what people do in jobs. He'll be stapling shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happens. There's paper clips somewhere involved, but you'll just be there doing shit and you'll be like, sometimes it's just my pants wearing a spear, pow, pow, pow. And people will be like, oh my God, you must have seen JV skate on the weekend. <laughs> He's a genius. <laughs> imagine what the fuck... Can you imagine what, I was, what was going through my head when that fucking came out. Like, I was just like, so when I was writing, I was like, fucking, sometimes I jizz in my pants, where I be, 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 be. I was typing. I wasn't casting a spell. <laughs> but uh, just that's my, anyway. And, and then I was like, fuck, where did that come from? Quick, control S, control S. <laughs> control S heaps of times, just in case it doesn't work. Fucking go for it. Then control C it, then control V it onto an email to all my friends and family. <laughs> Sometimes it jizz in my pants, where in a spew, pew, pew, pew. That's the subject and the body. <laughs> <laughs> and my mum's proud, so. <laughs> She's here tonight, where are you, mum? <laughs> no, nope, mum didn't make it. All right. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Um, so, anyway, so there you go. Look, look. Let's get let's get out of the way. Some people have, uh, uh, you know, like, bit, I can see some fear in some eyes here tonight. People are looking at me. They're going, "Fuck, he's hardcore." <laughs> and I know. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, I get it. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I already know. So please don't come up to me after the show and be like, "Oh my god, you're so fucking hardcore." <gasps> oh no. <laughs> All right. That's because uh, that's because I uh, I grew up in the ghetto. <laughs> that's what's up, suckers. I'm from the projects. That's what's up. I'm from the motherfucking Gold Coast. <laughs> I'm from the projects. I'm from the projects. It was a commercial development project. <laughs> It had a golf course <laughs> and some lovely can notes. <laughs> I uh, got into gangster rap when I was very young. I was actually a professional gangster rapper when I was a, when I was a kid. I was, uh, I was like little Bow Wow. Yeah, yeah, so you used to call me little Woof Woof. I'd be like, Woof Woof, suckers. I'd be like, yo. Yo, I'm a lyrical ninja, a hip-hop explorer. Look at the KFC, can I take your order? <laughs> like, get your motor running, get set to go, then drive on through to the next window. <laughs> In the 5.0, chip-boom, with the motherfucking top down. Boom, I just roll it, roll it, yeah, oh, with the motherfucking top down. Boom, it's just, actually just the motherfucking windows wound down. Cause the motherfucking top doesn't actually motherfucking go down. In my barina. Yeah. Beep, beep, fuck a prick. Anyway, suffice it to say that job didn't last very long and uh, now I get to do what I love, which I think is very important. I got two main passions in life. One is obviously gangster rap, and the other one is skin cancer awareness. And yeah, what I like to do is travel around to the schools and teach the kiddies about skin cancer awareness uh, through gangster rap. That's how we go. Yo, yo, when you. Oh, fuck. Hang on. Edit point. I know you. 
You fuck it up the edit point. <laughs> Before the edit point, let's go back to the silence and blank stares. <laughs> Through gangster rap. This is how we roll. Yo, when you're out on the street in the heat, cocky burning your feet, and it's nearly 40 degrees, don't be absurd, sit on a shirt. I don't have to remind you that sunburn hurts. Remember kids, when you go outside, you get fried, cause there's a motherfucking hole in the sky. Word to your mother, cause you know the bitch knows that you never leave the house without zinc on your nose. A connection, my obsession. Teach your motherfucking kids on protection. Slap on a hat, that's where it's at. Cause you know the fucking sun is on the attack. The big slap are burning cause there's no ozone No, no, you alone in a dope because you get skin cancer But remember kids that I'm the bitch with the answer S to the P to the F Suckers, S to the P to the F Everybody say mama say black you out UV we're gonna block you out Put your hands in the air Like you really don't care No, that's alright, no, no, no No, 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 that's alright, no yeah, it's a better reaction than I got at... No, it's a better reaction than I got at Mossman Primary School, so... Yeah. Yeah, no. Punch bowl, I stole my car, so... Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't want to touch... St Xavier's... Ugh, like, they touched me. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, I, uh, it's hard, man. It's, it's, it's hard living on, uh, living on the road, being, being a rock and roller. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to gotta keep fit. <laughs> You'll notice I'm wearing compression tights. <laughs> a bit of active wear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's because I'm an athlete. Got these uh, particular compression tights. At uh, yeah, twenty bucks to pray. <laughs> yeah, so. But uh, I noticed, like, I did actually, like, like you notice those guys, like, because I did sign up uh, uh, at a gym, um, and it was like, it's hard, man, because you sign up, and like, it's about keeping the momentum because you're locked in to a contract, you know what I mean? You're locked into the contract and like, you know, you're paying what? You know, like 400 bucks uh, a day um, <laughs> for 28 years, do you know what I mean? So you've got to keep the momentum up. Like the first day I went in, I was wearing work clothes. So you don't want to work out in work clothes and uh, because it was the sign up day, it's the day where you're just checking it out. You're just going, yeah. Do that. <laughs> Give that one a go. I can do that. That one, you sit down. <laughs> and watch 16 televisions. <laughs> Perfect. It was about keeping up the momentum, because the next day that I went in, it was raining, so... Ooh, I don't want to do sport in the rain. <laughs> so... It's no fun. So, but I did notice these guys, you notice those guys at the gym, like, when your neck and your shoulder has morphed into like a, like a nolder, right? When you've got a schneck, It's time to fucking stop, <laughs> all right? Step away from the dumbbells, big guy. Go and have a lie down, tiger. You've earned it. It's important to set goals. Equally as important to fucking stop once you've reached the goal. There's no point climbing Everest and putting up a fucking stepladder. <laughs> You know? These guys, man, they, they puff up. They puff up, right? They've retained fluids. It's all fluid retention. That's what they do. They retain fluids. Like, you know, they get the lats. The lats go out and they can't reach shit. <laughs> <laughs> they 
like that. <laughs> so the lats are so... They gotta take a shower every time they take a shit. Do you know what I'm saying? They're, just turn the tap on and just fucking let gravity just splash it in, just... <laughs> I saw a guy who was retaining that much fluid in his schneck. He was actually controlled by the fucking moon. This guy was tidal. Huh? Yeah. That's why they're going in there so early in the morning. 5.57, 6.01, 6 they're trying to time the tides. <laughs> you think the tidal report on the news is for the boaties and the fishermen? It's for the bloke with the schneck and the tattoo on his face. They're in there, man. Do you know, and it's weird, eh? Like, they get so big that they're not, like, like you build muscle to function in the, you know, to build log cabins and fucking lift boulders off of deer and shit like that. It's what we evolved to do, right? To chuck a spear and shit, you know? There's, a, some, there's evolutionary need for muscles. But once you get that big, all you're good at is just fucking bench pressing denial. <laughs> just, just... I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking poofed it, dicks. <laughs> Faggity nutsack. <laughs> Fuck. Bloody <laughs> poofed it nuts. <laughs> Fuck. Show you, yeah, real man. Fuck. Real man. Fuck it. Poofed it, dick. <laughs> Puss. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> spot me, Gary. Spot me. <laughs> Gary, quickly. Spot me, mate. Just straddle my face and grab my bar, would you? That's it. Just yes. That's it. Just slide your perineum gently on the bridge of my nose, mate. Thank you. Yes, that's it. Is that? Is that Twining's? Well, it's a Tetley all rounder. It's an Irish breakfast. Oh shit, can I get some protein to the stage, please? Protein. Edit point. Oh, someone's excited. Yeah, ooh, hello. Good times. Um, this is a song about me at the gym. I'm a short, chubby, white guy with an ass to grind I started going bald at 25 My lower back is aching cause my posture sucks I take daily medication for gastric reflux I'm eating fried chicken, cheeseburgers, soaked in peri-peri My favorite fruit juice is cold cherry My colon's really swollen cause it's blocking up with shit My face is looking bloated cause I'm rocking double chins I'm a bad, bad, bad physical specimen I'm in shape, but it's the shape of a diabetic homeless man I love sex, drugs, rock and roll I like to get high on cholesterol My five-year-old nephew thinks I'm pretty cool He doesn't know there's blood in my stool My shriveled liver shivers as it takes another load My kidney's really busy crystallizing kidney stones I'm running out of breath and I'm getting a stitch I'm fun. Oh, fuck Cause I'm a bad, bad, bad physical specimen I'm a Ferrari trapped in the body of a Mexican sense of entitlement is the best for that do you mind if i pinch a chip and some sauce and a bottle of dr pepper not diet dr pepper because a spartan gives you cancer 
It's the spartame is the tr sweetener, the, the drug that they put in the sweetener, and scientific studies have proved that it has links to cancer. <laughs> so it's often just as unhealthy to drink diet drinks as the regular sugar drinks. <laughs> and personally, I'd rather die of heart disease because I'm a bad, bad, bad physical specimen. I'm in shape, but it's the shape of a pregnant lesbian. Cause I'm bad, who's bad? I'm bad. I'm like a Kyle Sandy Lance. I'm a bad, bad specimen. Sometimes I jizz in my pants when I spew. Thank you, thank you. Oh man, we are so, you guys are amazing, seriously. It's a fucking amazing audience. What an amazing night. Thank you so much for coming out here uh, to the Emerald Theatre. Thank you, yeah. yeah. A couple of people left. They're a week late. They were like, this is not brandy. But um, no, it's great. Seriously, you guys are one of the audiences that I've performed to, and I mean that. <laughs> no, I mean that, man. You're an absolute... So... <laughs> I need to take that home. Uh, but I want to bring it down a bit. Let's bring, the, let's bring some love down into the room. Do you know what I mean? Let's fucking bring it down. Let's talk about love. Mmm. Mmm. I'm looking at this guy right here. Oh yeah. He got some. You, he likes to love. What's your name, bro? Al. That's a lover's name. Ooh, Romeo Casanova. Al. You probably read about me in the poems and that. Uh, and is this your lady here? Huh? Tonight she is, don't know about tomorrow, well I fucking do. Because I'm about to sing her the song that you wrote. <laughs> Al wrote a song, what's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca, you are the luckiest woman in the world. Not only are you with a man called Al. <laughs> it's the best wife you've had. All right mate, you just leave the jokes to me, okay? <laughs> No, that's not better. <laughs> Al wrote this song for Rebecca and um, <clears throat> he taught it to me before the show. He's like, please, man, let's fucking do this. And um, he uh, actually, all these people, he's hired. These are all hired extras um, for this moment. In fact, my entire career has been a ruse for this, <laughs> okay? <laughs> We've been working towards this. Al has been working very hard on this song. At first, I couldn't hear the lyrics because my balls were in his mouth but I <laughs> I, I got him to hum a few bars okay <laughs> and there, there is nothing that Al loves more than humming a few bars don't you worry about that <laughs> are these your kids these are, they're not it's these people that sit next to Al going oh fuck <laughs> Oh, it's gonna get worse. Um, <laughs> but this is for uh, this is for all the ladies in the audience tonight. Yeah, Bob, can we can we get a can we get a sexy light and stoke here? Just bring it down. I know we didn't rehearse that. It just, oh yeah, no, just leave it as it is. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry about it. It'll fuck it up for TV. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but this is for all the ladies in the audience tonight. Ladies, if you're with your man here tonight. Hold him close, hold him tight, yeah? If you're with each other, just get it on. I've got a camera on my phone. Ladies, if you're by yourself, there's a backstage party. <laughs> After the show. It's just behind that curtain there, it's not... They locked the green room up, so... 
Anyway, it's not that exciting. <sighs> yeah. But this, ladies, I think this, this is a bit of a universal song from, from us boys to you. But certainly for Rebecca from Al. And Rebecca, this is what Al is really thinking. One, two, he just goes, it's time to go home. <laughs> no, that's not what you're thinking, man. I'm about to sing, let me sing your thoughts, you dickhead. <laughs> fucking hell. Al, next time your brain tells your mouth to fucking say something, okay, tell your mouth to tell your brain, to tell your mouth, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I love you for your heart and your mind and your soul and your thoughts and your feelings and that kind of stuff. <laughs> Your opinion really matters to me. I wanna hear about your day and your friends and the new haircut that Suzanne wants to get. I can't believe she's such a bitch. As much as I wanna sit here listening to you, yeah. There is just one thing that I would rather do, and that's a play with your boobies. Why don't you put on my t-shirt? No, forget the bra. You don't need it, baby. Let's go jogging in the park. I love watching Bridget Jones's diary with you. Oh, yeah. But there's just one thing I would rather do, and that's a nestle in your boobies, Rebecca. Rebecca. And meditate. Meditate until I reach sin. Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Oh, oh. Shanti. Oh, fuck, don't move, don't move, don't move. Oh. <laughs> Okay, 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 oh, oh. <laughs> Becca, where are you going? Baby, baby, where are you going? <laughs> baby, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm stressed. I just had a coffee. I'm just, oh, I just, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you were supposed to go first. All right, just next time, please, baby, come on, hey. Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> While you're up, can you just get a tissue and a hydrolyte? <laughs> just a, yeah, just yeah, cup, yeah, just tissue and a yeah, icy pole hydrolyte. <laughs> thanks, babe. Thanks. Pinky porn assessors, cherry cakes, flapjacks, strap tanglers, bee stings, naughty pillows, party hats, shirt stuffers, nunga nungas, niblets, grip nuts, love muffin suckle bags, sweater kitten, sugar plums, happy fun, squeezy friends, <laughs> wibbly wobbly warheads, delicate orbs <laughs> of womanhood. His words, not mine. Break it down now, jugs, cans, norns, racks, who does not come?
Kirk while they're still clapping. Somebody, no, go, clap again. Yeah! yeah. Close. Now close the curtains, Bob, close the curtains. While they're still clapping. And then open the curtains while they're still clapping. Oh, fuck! Oh my God, it's an encore! Oh my god, I'm so... Oh my god, you deserve this so much. <laughs> Alright. Uh, just, um, also, I want to let you know, guys, uh, before we start the encore, I just want to let you know I've got some CDs for sale as well. I've got Metallica, Guns N' Roses, um, it's on tape, but uh, it cuts out, uh, cuts out on side A during Paradise City. But uh, side B picks it right up. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, because I, uh, I was very thorough with, uh, with the recording process of that. Um, see, some of the young people don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> young people are looking at me going, what's a cassette? Now they're getting angry, they're looking at me going, I know what a cassette is, mate. I've got one on my iPhone cover. Okay? <laughs> Fucking young people. <laughs> you don't remember a time when you had to work for your music. Oh, it's easy for you now, kiddies. Easy for you. You just like fucking click, oh, down it comes. Oh, fucking Abra fucking Cadabra. <laughs> We used to have to work for our music. We used to have to press play and record at the same fucking time. Have to wait for the DJ to stop talking. Yes, it's Coast FM, you're listening to Ugly Phil. Coming up next, it's Guns N' Roses, switch out of mine. Coming through, shut up Ugly Phil, you're talking over the best bit. <laughs> Uh, but this song goes out to uh, song guys. We've done one for the ladies. This song goes out to the boys here tonight. None more so than Al. This is a song called Little Dick. <laughs> I'm a rock hard cervical raider, cervical raider, yeah. I'm gonna do that line again because it's fucking brilliant and it deserves a way better reaction than that. All right, so here you. <laughs> I'm a rock hard cervical raider, cervical raider. No, 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 too much, too much. No, it's, it's not that good. It, split the diff. I'm a rock hard cervical raider, cervical raider. But I'm hung like a second grader, second grader. Wow. I'm not hung like a horse, but don't you. Shetland Pony Ride Motherfucking Shetland Pony Ride I got a little dick But I prefer to call it fun size It looks a little sick Like a half-eaten French fry But I was never gonna be a porn star Be a porn star No, no With a wiener like a chipolata Chipolata I drive a yellow Lamborghini, yeah. And I know you don't believe me, cause my hands are huge, but my dick is fucking tiny. A little bit like a steam button mushroom. I can't do any tricks. I use the cubicle in men's rooms. You can fit the whole thing right inside your mouth. Cause it's exactly the same. Dimensions is Papa Smurf's house. Papa Smurf lives inside my cock a
Special effects. <laughs> it's a health and safety issue with a dragon. You are not allowed to have a real dragon in a licensed premises in New South Wales anymore. <laughs> you used to be allowed to, but then Barry O'Farrell fucked that shit up and Mike Bed kept it going. Well, you are allowed to have a real dragon, but it has to be in a casino, but it's not. <laughs> The point is, it's not a real dragon. Don't be scared, Al. Fucking, fucking, and just cut to the hologram of two pack of rapping about shit. Hologram of two pack of rapping about shit. Only a few people get that reference, but it's, and it's a little old right now, but not where I wrote the show. It wasn't so old, but <laughs> just on reflection right now here, it's a fucking bit old. Note to self, stop giving yourself notes <laughs> during the performance live on TV. <laughs> Fuck it. I wish I had a band. Fuck it. Now it's time for the audience participation time of the evening. Here we go, guys. I want all the guys at Little Dicks to sing after me. Here we go. <laughs> Little Dicks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is more than has ever yelled out ever and again. That's amazing. <laughs> Very confident people here at the end more, but, <laughs> but looking around, not as many as should have sung. All right, let's be honest. Al, you didn't fucking see anything. Where were you, mate? Maybe I didn't explain it properly. So, the only people that should be singing are uh, the guys with little dicks. There's one guy at the back who's like, Let up there! I'm like, all right, mate. I don't know if that was enthusiasm or just fucking anger. <laughs> Resentment. And here we go. I'm looking around at some faces. I want you to sing in full voice, all right? Here we go. I'm also looking at a couple of blokes could probably sit this one out. <laughs> Here we go. Little day. <laughs> Alright, calm down. Just calm the fuck down, mate. You're like... Yeah. <laughs> Last time I did this song, this, <laughs> this lady yelled out, Little dick! Like trying to... I was like, no, that's not what it is. It's called a clitoris. That's what it is. It's a different thing. It's kind of a... Anyway. Here we 
go, let's go, let's sing in full voice. Everybody, here we go, come on. Little Jack. Fingering. And I want you to abuse it Cause I sure know how to use it And that's the most important thing Is how you use it and Not how big it is It's actually more important to have good technique And to be loving and gentle and mm, listening. Right, Al? Sometimes I'm chasing my pants when 